After a few months of working towards a traditional log cabin with nothing else but the trees from our new property, we realized that the cabin would be better off left for next year, if not a couple more years in the future. With the hunting season fast approaching, we had to make a decision. Do we not build anything or do we build something small and quick? Once again, we severely underestimated the undertaking of building a cabin large enough for our family. Um, however, we did choose to build with traditional lumber, uh, this time which was much easier and faster. Then cue the lumber shortage here in the United States. Even with the lumber shortage, we were still able to harvest some of the logs that took earlier in the year and with the help of an Alaskan chainsaw mill uh, we were able to kind of finish off uh, some of the things that we didn't get to. Fortunately for us when we purchased our original order we had probably about 95% of our wood that we needed. Everything from that point on we wrapped up with uh, basically milling our own stuff. The journey's been kind of long, but uh, we're going to take you. So let's step back to day one when the lumber arrived. All right, so there you have it. We have our delivery, and it don't look like much, but... Uh, other minus the shingles, windows, and doors, that's where we're gonna be living at, or our, what our cabin's gonna be for a little bit. Since the driver that delivered the wood didn't want to take the wood all the way back into the woods, which I don't blame him, we had to use the four-wheeler and basically load the trailer up and runs and take it all the way back through, and it wasn't bad. The only thing was just navigating some of the trees that we haven't fell yet. So we chose to set this up on blocks instead of on the ground uh, for a couple of reasons. The first reason was we couldn't get our hands on treated lumber. And the second was we didn't want to have to deal with building permits. All right, so it's been, I think it's like two or three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and got quite a bit done so far. Uh, we got the framing, the bottom frame done. We are just, nothing's really structural yet. We're just tying in uh, the shape right now. And then we're gonna go back and uh, start putting in the, the poles and the walls. Um, but it's coming out <laughs> actually decent and pretty fast. Everything's pretty level. And um, I think this is gonna go together really well. I uh, gotta hurry up and try to get this done. They're calling for a little bit of rain. So with the storms rolling in, I was able to get the floor joists in and the floor. I'm not quite sure why I put the OSB board up. I'm getting a little head off myself. But my plan was to get the floor installed and have it structurally sound, uh, at least not to fall over, so I could start on the next day. And at this point is when I wrapped it up because the storms did come in and uh, hung out in the tent for the rest of the night. Um, today is number two um, on the cabin and I'm gonna share a little bit of the update. Uh, what's going on? Got the base in, got al almost all of the floor in, and uh, we had to, it started raining, so I moved on to start framing some of the front walls because we're actually, we're able to do the front half. So the front walls are 24 on center, side walls are gonna be 48 on center with tack strips, uh, just like a kind of like a pole barn because we're also gonna be running one hell of a top plate on all around the whole thing. Um, the door is going to go right here. I'm not even going to frame that in just yet. Um, and, uh, and I'm not going to frame it in until we get a door. So uh, just giving an update. This is day number two on the uh, cabin build. It's like a hybrid pool barn. 
So the main goal for day number two was getting the walls in and preparing for my brother-in-law to come up. He was going to start helping put the open trusses together. And as you can see here, we started to, or I did a truss and found out that uh, I had the wrong kind of wood. So anyways, long story short, I had to make another run to the store, get all the lumber needed for the open truss, and we uh, started going to town. By the end of the day, we had all the trusses in and rough in place. They were spaced at the top and uh, tacked on the bottom. We still had to do a little bit of measurement, but uh, all in all, they were in and ready for the next day. So day three came and Jess, my wife, came up to help sheathe the roof, uh, which was no small feat. Um, that roof we chose to put on the cabin was a 12-12 pitch to give us double the height uh, for the 14 by 16 layout that we had. Um, but by that, we started sheathing and it actually looked like we knew what we were doing. Um, and with the roof pitch being so steep, um, with her up there helping cut, I was able to focus on safety, you know, strapping the ladder and, and moving. Um, and before you knew it, we were actually uh, getting things done. I will say at this point, uh, especially with the 12-12 pitch, even though it was a relatively small roof, um, if you have the ability for two ladders, uh, roof jacks, and uh, like an air gun, a, a nail gun, definitely definitely uh, would have saved some time so as we started finishing the front part of the roof uh, we decided to kind of move over and uh, it was time for Jess to learn how to use a hammer <laughs> and you can see here um, she was having a heck of a time but uh, she helped she the back and uh, did an awesome job with it and uh, we spent the rest of the day just kind of putting the sides up on the cabin to try to just change, of course, and, and feel like we were getting something else accomplished. By nightfall, everything kind of slowed down. We just kind of stepped back, had a fire for the rest of the night, enjoyed the property, and just kind of contemplated on what was next. And with that, guys, this was the three-day adventure on the cabin build. Uh, obviously, we're not done, and uh, we have more to share with you guys. So be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any uh, suggestions maybe to help us uh, with the cabin. And uh, we'll be releasing new video as they, uh, we have content. So awesome. Thank you for watching. And we will see you guys next time.